Good morning, coaches. Welcome to your first day of Coach Basics. Um, I'm actually really, really, really excited to get started. We have an amazing group of brand new coaches in here, and um, I really think that the information that we're going to be sharing with you guys is going to be really valuable to you. Um, and I want you to know that if you guys have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, now, for day one, we have quite an amazing assignment for you guys. This is actually one of the assignments that's probably one of the most, it is the most important one, um, that is going to drive you in this business as a Beachbody coach. Um, now, it's really exciting, but it also is something that has to make you cry, okay? So, we like to call it your why until you cry. So basically what that means is that you have to have a why so deep in your heart that makes you jump out of bed every morning to work this business. And I say that because when you have a business and you work for yourself, it's really easy to give up and it's really easy to just not do what you know you're supposed to do. Okay, so when I sign up new coaches, I often will ask, hey, you know, why do you want to do this business? And you know, a lot of the time I get some really amazing answers. And most of the time it's their story and how they know that their story is going to help affect somebody else's life in a positive light. However, sometimes people tell me it's because I want to make money and I want to help people. But do you really think that that's going to make you wake up every morning with a fire underneath you and want you to go and help people? Your why has to be so strong that you have no choice but to wake up in the morning, shut your snoo snooze button off, and get to work. Because after two years, almost two years of being a coach, I know that there's people out there waiting for you to get a hold of them, okay? People are waiting for you to come into their life and reach out to them and just show that you care. So, your why until you cry. I'm going to tell you guys my why until I cry, and then we'll talk about what your assignment is after that. So, um, I feel like I've kind of always had this passion for helping people, and the reason why I say that is because I was three when my mom got sick, and I'm going to try really hard not to make this super long for you guys. But I was three when my mom got sick. She had gone in for a regular surgery. Um, this was, I would say, like 40 years ago. Um, regular surgery. And back then when they put you under, um, they had to stick something down your throat <clears throat> um, in order to put you out. So, you know, so you didn't feel the pain or anything like that. And when they did that, they happened to open her jaw too wide and they cracked it. And from that day forward, my mom had been... Um, in some pretty terrible pain, chronic pain, and not only that, but because of having that, she's always had issues chewing um, foods, and on top of that, she also has always been on high prescription painkiller medications. So, could you imagine, like, for 40 years living your life that way? Now, because when you have chronic pain, you often suffer from depression, and could you imagine being a mother to a three-year-old, a five-year-old, a 9-year-old, an 11-year-old, a 13-year-old, and a 15-year-old. And I may have gotten those ages messed up a little bit, but my mom was the mom to six children. So you could imagine the amount of depression and the amount of guilt that she had because she was not um, physically fit as a mom. Um, and, you know, a lot of it had to do with the fact that she just wasn't able to. Um, she was in chronic pain. So because I was the youngest, I grew up and I definitely didn't, when I looked at my other friends' moms, I definitely um, sparked jealousy, okay, within me. Um, you know, they were going out with their mom for lunch, and their mom was taking them shopping, and my mom was sleeping. And, you know, I honestly, like, I didn't really know any different, to be honest, um, but I knew that I wanted my mom to be more active with me. So, that is one of my driving factors for being a coach. Absolutely, because I know that in this day and age, a lot of women and moms suffer from depression, and um, because I did myself, um, and I just I'm out to help other women know their worth and help them gain confidence and just allow them to know that they have potential to literally be anything they want. 
Um, now my second driving factor of my why is um, because like I said, I suffered through depression a lot. I have three kids. They are now four, five, and seven. And um, majority, um, besides this last year, we were in the military, so we moved around a lot. I had no friends, I had no family. My husband was pretty much not there ever. Um, and I would definitely go through emotional roller coasters um, of being by myself. And I am so thankful for my personal coach, um, Emily Jameson, for being brave and posting a photo about her uh, winning a challenge group because that is what got me involved in coaching and that is why I am speaking to all of you right now. Um, now, my why until I cry though, you guys, is because I want to be that mom who's always there for my kids who doesn't miss anything, who is active with them, who they feel proud of, who they know that when they say, hey mom, let's go play soccer, knows that I can go run around with them. I just, I wanna be the fun mom who like makes super cool birthday parties and who can take them shopping and who can go out with them on their 19th birthday in Canada even though we live in the US. <laughs> Um, I want to be always there for my kids and I have three girls and raising girls already has already like freaked me out beyond nothing because I was the youngest uh, in my family and um, so it totally freaks me out. So I need to make sure that I am on spot with who I am as a person and know that I know my worth because raising my little girls and making sure that they are confident within who they are and they know their worth is like the number one thing I could do and provide for them as a mom, but I am their role model, so I need to make sure that they learn that from me. So that is my why, and I am crying. So anyways, um, I didn't mean to cry, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyways, that is um, my why for my kid, for why I'm a coach and because I know that so many other moms out there struggle with this and you know what we have to leave this legacy behind where our kids can follow us and know that like they are worth so much um I didn't have a lot of worth when I was younger I didn't have feel a lot of worth when I was a teenager and I am not gonna let my kids go through that so that is my why until I cry um and that is why I get up every single day. And that is why I don't miss a day of messaging people and inviting people to my groups. And that is why I just am who I am. Um, and that's another cool thing about being a coach, you guys, is that you get to be who you are. You get to share your struggles. You get to share your passions. You just get to, you get to be you. And how freaking cool is that? That the company that you work for supports who you are. They support everything about you and who you are. It's amazing. Um, and then the other why. <laughs> um, a year ago, my husband got out of the military. Um, and I'm going to tell you right now that if I had not started as a coach, either myself or my husband would be out working another job away from the house. Pretty much just how it was when we were in the military, how we were separated all the time, and I was not okay with that. I did not want that to happen. So I seriously, you guys, from the day I signed up, I worked my butt off to make sure that I could, that I worked, you tried my best. I didn't have a certain financial goal in mind or anything. I just knew that I wanted to be able to help out financially with my family. Um, and I, I knew that I didn't want to do it outside of the house because I tried that and I only lasted one week. Um, because I like being at home. I like being at home with my kids. I guess I'm somewhat of a homebody. Um, but I like being at home with my kids and my husband. And I like making dinner. And I like, you know, I like doing things like that. So I didn't want to have to be out of the house um, and away from my family. So um, that's my why, you guys. That is my why. So after sharing that with you, I really want you guys to think about what your why is. What is going to make you jump out of your bed every single day to work this business so that you stay motivated? <clears throat> What's your passion? You know, what is your passion for this business? What do you want to get out of this business? You have two options. You can write down your why until you cry, or you can be brave and you can jump out of that comfort zone, which you're going to need to do as a brand new coach anyways. 
and make a video just like I did right here, you guys. I'm in a tank top, I'm in my pajamas, my hair is thrown up, I have mom hair, and just talk. Just talk into the camera. Share your why until you cry. If you cry, who cares? Look at how passionate that shows you are about what you want to do and how you want to help people in your life, okay? So you can post it in this group, which I highly recommend you do because you have no idea how amazing it would to be to learn everybody's whys. Or you can send it to your personally sponsored coach um, who placed you in this group. So I'm really excited to get started. Your why until you cry is the number one thing you guys need to figure out before we get started here, okay? Um, thanks for watching this. I'm sorry I went a little over time. Um, but that's it for now. Okay, that's your assignment. You guys have about 24 hours to get that done. Um, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.